Hi, my friends call me Lime and I want to help you perform even better in your videos and so let's talk about body language. How is your posture? How do you move in front of the camera? What facial expressions are you using? All of this can make or break whatever message that you're trying to convey through a camera because body language affects how your audience feel. For example, how welcome do you feel when I'm crossing my arms like this and using the facial expression that I'm using right now? As opposed to the body language that I usually have. Many times we're not even aware of what signals we're sending through our body language and even if we are, we might be so used to them that we do them anyway. I, for example, have a tendency to mark every word that I'm saying like this and after a while it gets so annoying and I don't even think about that I'm doing it. So I try to cut myself off here so that my hands can do whatever they want under the camera. And if I need to mark something, I do this or that. So your challenge is to find a body language that works in your favor, that you feel comfortable with and that resonates with your audience. What is the answer? What body language should you use? Well. Different people will tell you different things. Some will tell you to stand like this, while others say that's too close to the Mr. Burns pose. Others say that you should stand with your arms behind your back like this to have an open body language as much as possible, but others tell you not to. Some say that you should stand with your arms at your sides like this, but I think that completely lacks expression, so... If you listen to all of them, then what body language do you really have left? And this is why I'm claiming that there is no one correct posture. What body language you should use entirely depends on the situation and what works on your audience specifically. And once that's in the bag, then you can cope with whatever body language you feel comfortable with. Now, if you want to think about body language, you, you can think about it in wide terms. Think about what you want to achieve. Sometimes you want a slow body language to relax your audience. Sometimes you want a fast body language to pump them up. Sometimes you want to have an open body language to be welcoming, but other times that might not be as fitting. Sometimes you want to have a high status body language to gain respect. Other times you want to level with them to show them that you're just like them. So, how can you better your body language? Thank you so much for watching. Bye.